हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रुचि एंड आई क्रिएट कंटेंट अराउंड गर्ल बॉस लाइफस्टाइल फिनेंस एंड सम फन कंटेंट टू बिकॉज व्हाट इज लाइफ विदाउट फन राइट सो इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सेवन थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू व्हेन यू हैव नथिंग टू डू एंड माइंड इट दीज आर नॉट जस्ट एनी सेवन थिंग्स दीज आर सेवन प्रोडक्टिव थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू सो लेट मी गिव यू अ लिटिल बैकग्राउंड to why i came up with this topic and how i came up with this topic so today was a very power packed day in my schedule i had planned that i'll shoot two or maybe three videos i also had my office work to be taken care of and i also had to prepare in advance a few nicks and nags here and there for the next week to set in but to my surprise when i was just about to start my day in the morning i realized that there is a power cut off in my area and this power cut off was not just any other power cut off it meant i am not going to be able to shoot or work on my laptop or connect to calls on my mobile for another 4 to 5 hours and losing productive time of 4 to 5 hours can do a lot of damage to our work i'm sure each one of you may connect with me on this and while i had nothing to do i just started thinking i cannot waste my time like this i have to do something i have to come up with some idea to utilize my time to the best so that i achieve my goals i achieve what i wanted to do today and not end up being sad at the end of the day so without wasting further time let get started with the video where i am going to share with you those seven secrets which even you can implement in your life so let's just get started so the first thing that you can do is actually read a book i cannot emphasize how important books are in our lives i think we've always been complaining that we do not have enough time or we are very busy we have other errands to take care of we have other lot of things to be done on time and we don't end up finding time for reading books i think times like these when you are actually blank and you do not have anybody around or there are no electronic devices around you book is your best friend books not only just give you knowledge they also helps you to find a different perspective to life and i'm sure a man's best friend is going to be a book the second activity that you can do is actually cleaning and decluttering your life or your space i'm sure there's going to be one corner of our house at least which is always cluttered or which is always dirty which needs to be cleaned right so use this time to clean up your space to clean up your surroundings because a cluttered mind cannot work efficiently and effectively so cleaning and decluttering is of utmost importance the third activity that you can do is meditation just as cluttering your decluttering your space your surroundings is equally important so is decluttering your mind important have you thought how many decisions does our mind make in a single day thousands and thousands of decisions you can go and do a research about it i'm sure you'll find out some really shocking results our mind is so occupied with thoughts with some processes going on around that we often we hardly get any time to sit back relax and think as to what do we want to do so use this time effectively to meditate to calm yourself down to gather down your thoughts and say bye bye to all the clutter in your head the fourth activity that you could do is exercise for a healthy mind and equally important is to have a healthy body our mind won't function if we do not have a healthy body to support so it's really important to keep ourselves healthy fit and fine exercise doesn't mean you have to lose weight or you have to be of a certain size or a shape for me exercise has always all been about 
being healthy, being fit, being effective and ultimately that leads to productivity. We often complain, you know, I do not have that extra 20 minutes in the day to just stretch my muscles or to go for a walk. This is the best time to do. Use your time and invest it on your body. Give it that physical activity which your body needs. I'm sure it will give you some amazing and shocking results which you wouldn't have expected or which you wouldn't have experienced otherwise. The fifth activity which you can do is meal prep. No, I am not from any cooking channel and I am not going to teach you how to do meal prep but I am definitely going to tell you how can meal prep help you. Working women like me, I am sure you would connect with me. We have so many things to run around or to be taken care of in a day that our meals usually suffer. A lot of time it so happens that because we do not have enough time, we end up eating packaged food or ordering food from outside, which in the long run is not a good option for our body. So rather, use your free time to meal prep. Maybe you can cook your meals in advance and keep a batches, of, uh, batches of it ready for your use in the following week. Or you can maybe chop off your vegetables in advance so that your cooking time, your prep time reduces and you can just finish off early in the morning when you start your day. And I'm sure if you look for meal prep ideas on the YouTube, you'll get thousands of different unique ideas which can help you save on your time. So use this free time to meal prep. The sixth activity that you can do is look up to your finances. Especially in times like today where the entire world economy is affected by this unknown pandemic, it becomes really important to take care of your finances. I'm sure each one of us would have planned our life in the beginning of 2020 in a completely different manner as compared to what we are today. And truly life is uncertain. And because of this uncertainty, it becomes equally important to plan your finances. Now what does plan your finances actually mean? You can prepare a budget if you do not already have one. If you already have a budget, you can look up to your past expenses. Maybe you last six months, last nine months from January to date, what all you have incurred. You could review those expenses and figure out which are the areas where you could cut down, where you could save more or find out some cheaper alternatives if they are available in the market. The third thing what you can also do apart from reviewing your budget and cutting down your expenses is finding new sources of income. Times like these have completely proven to us that the 100% job security thought which we already had always had in our mind is no more a sure shot guarantee, right? So it's equally important to find out alternative sources of income which can help you to survive even in difficult times like these. Let me know if you would want to know more about this in detail. I'll surely make another video for you guys to watch on. The seventh and the last thing which you can do is review your goals, right? I'm sure a lot of us in the beginning of 2020 would have made goals for our, ourselves, would have made vision boards, you know, would have taken up some new year resolutions. But we all know the reality, right? Actually, how many of us end up following those goals or fulfilling those goals? or actually go back and review those goals. So this is the right time. Sit, use your free time, go back to the year, the beginning of the year and find out what you had planned and what are you doing right now. Are you working towards your goal? Are you maybe going away from your goal? Or has your goal completely changed? For example, in the beginning of the year, I had planned or I had a goal in my mind was to travel to two new destinations this year, which I clearly can see is not going to happen in the near future. 
So then I went back, I reviewed my goal, I updated it. Maybe instead of traveling to two new destinations, I added to my goal was learn things about two more additional topics or learn two new skills or start a new passive source of income. So go back, review your goals because it is really important for you to achieve them at the end of the day, right? So these are the seven productive things which you can do when you have nothing to do. I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please do like, share and comment below the video and also subscribe to my channel. Turn on that notification uh, bell so that you always get alerts whenever I upload a new video. Bye-bye. Take care.